It's Madden NFL 23. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. ready to put this one in the air and off we go from Cleveland and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense they'll be led out by Deshaun Watson of course he won a national title to Clemson and already has three Pro Bowls under his belt in the National Football League and he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. He'll find Bryant. His tight end. It's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers. But they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. So here's a first and ten at the 38. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defense able to get there. Swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Throwing on second down. Watson. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And that run 
that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Consecutive runs of six yards gives them a first and ten. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Throwing Jones. Over the middle complete. That's Myers. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up second down. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Now Jones. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. Now a first down carry for Harris. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. They contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Back to throw. Jones. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. down they'll run with Chubb and very little there he might have gotten a yard yeah I think he got a yard to the 41 second quarter two minutes to go tie ball game a reminder that when halftime rolls around Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando and we're at the 41 second and nine Watson. This complete to David Bell. And they'll work this down inside the 30. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the front, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, 
can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now a first down throw, Watson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Throwing again is Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hunt. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Again, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Now it's Watson. This is caught. Touchdown, Browns. Talon Peoples-Jones, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Browns will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now, Cade York for the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30, right about the 29. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with them trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown. Patriots are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback the Browns now going to take over late in this first half and they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together Watson on first down they'll go screen here to Hunt and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line 
A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time, we well for a solid game. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Watson. Right side complete, that's Woods. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On first down, Watson. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 27-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Wide to the left, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys the lead going into the break, but this effort doesn't find the mark, and that's going to keep things all square. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And incomplete on the deep ball. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, though. Let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for New England. And in a tie ball game, they've got to be asking themselves, what can we do to get this passing game on track for the second half to come? Meanwhile, for the Browns, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Here's Jones, throwing on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To throw again on second down, Jones. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. And a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And he gets a good chunk of yards there. Eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. And that looks like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They run for it with Harris. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Throwing again on second down. Jones this time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. So what a turn of events there. You're driving to take the lead in this third quarter, but then one mistake, and you're watching the ball being returned for a touchdown. Certainly a great example of how focus has to be there on every play, doesn't it, partner? You can't get complacent, and I think that he did. He's got him moving downfield, but that's a play where you just shouldn't have thrown the football. And that ultimately could wind up costing him the ball game. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to Get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. New England trying to get to place on offense. Well, remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines throwing for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's going to be taken down. He's sacked on the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. Stefanski consulted with his guys above, and they've told him, throw that challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Stefanski, a smart decision to throw the flag. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Now a hit and a loose. 
Eagles football. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I could never return punts, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Eh? It really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not, but sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looking to throw, Jones. Now he's got it, and he's brought down. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now Folk for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, Watson. Completes to Njoku. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. To throw, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 42. 23 yards to pick up there. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. A give running right is Chubb. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well.
Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And again, it's Chubb. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. And now out come the Patriots. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Jones. He's going to look downfield for Henry. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's Michael Polarity now as he's on to punt for New England. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Yeah, Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the same calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the Patriots who will have first crack at it as we're back underway here in overtime. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. The Browns set to take over. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles, and his feet never stop moving? First and ten. First throw and OT for Watson. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. That's complete to Bell over the middle. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Third and one, trying to keep this drive and overtime going. A big one coming up. 
Watson now to throw. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Bancher. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security and in overtime so paramount. Partner, do you ever wonder if maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. Doesn't seem like you can, but maybe by discussing it time and time again, and you know they overemphasized it here, that it almost became self-fulfilling. And any points beat them here. Field goal or a touchdown now. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10. Right at the 30. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Back to Stevenson on first down. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 49 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he's able to carve out about six there down to the 37. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. On second down, it's Stevenson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there available to them. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So here now is the kicker, Nick Ford. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it'll be a good time in the back bay tonight. The Patriots have won the football game. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done.